Oh, that's a shame for Torgerson. For the man that has been ever present at this tournament over the years. Well, it's been a pleasure to watch him bowl every single time he's visited these shores, but this might be quite a short visit. I think that was the one, and I think he realises that as well, muttering to himself. An open frame is really not what he needed. <coughs> Remyong has not had a single open. That's the second one that Tory's had. And it's going to uh, pull his score down, I'm afraid. Well, he needs some help now from Remyong. But I don't think Remyong's in the mood to offer any helping hand. No, Torre is 237 if he can strike off the sheet. Ong's 259. Yeah, he's got it. He's back on. <coughs> Double time there. again for Remy Ong. Yeah, that little adjustment he's made to the uh, the ball has obviously helped. Feels more comfortable with the grip now. He obviously comes off his hand feeling a bit better, and that uh, gives him the leverage and the rotation he wants. That's all the damage when it goes into the pocket. Breaks those pins up. Torgerson now. Oh, he wanted that last time out. Absolutely, yeah. He's had a nine spare and a big split in the middle of uh, possibly six in a row. And it's done the damage, I'm afraid. Yeah, there's a huge gap now between these two. Not insurmountable, but uh, Torgerson's running out of time. then same pre-shot preparation every single time he's certainly looking good isn't he certainly looking good for the next uh, next round <laughs> devastating is that going to go no it's not just a nine spare the seven stands in the corner he's left a couple of these previously and uh, spared them with no trouble with this uh, football bowling ball Moves Grind across to the right hand side of the lane and just drifts this ball across. Well played, Remy on. He's more than matching Torgerson in this second game, and the striking Viking is running out of options. There is really only one option he has left, and that's to uh, follow his nickname and strike it off the sheet. Either that or sabotage Remy so he can't finish the match. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you'd think of that. <laughs> yeah, he's 43 pins adrift. Going into frame eight. Oh. <clears throat> and uh, he leaves the opposite of what Remy Ong has just left. So the 10 pin standing instead of the seven. Lady Luck has not smiled on Tora Torgerson in this match. He knows that. He believes, and that's the end of the match. It's all Dear over. Dear me. Say goodnight, Vienna. Good night, Stavanger. I don't think he wanted to bowl that uh, last delivery. He really didn't seem to apply himself to the task, and every picture tells a story, doesn't it? Yes. Uh, unfortunately, Torre will go out in round one of this year's World Tempin Masters. Remy Young has looked unbeatable, really. Well, that's a sentence I thought we'd never hear. Torgerson out in the first round. But he's lost to a very fine opponent in Remy Ong, an opponent that uh, most of us feel has got a shot at at least a place in the final. You think Cassie could go all the way? Oh, I absolutely do, yes. One of the uh, two of my favourites for this tournament was Remy before we all started. And my other choice is already through. <laughs> I won't say any more. Mr. Barnes, you can't have him, he's taken. Oh, is he? All right. Change the ball for Torgerson and shoots the strike. Oh dear. Well, Typical, isn't it? So when the away. pressure's off, nothing to lose. Bangs one into the pocket. Oh dear, this can't finish quick enough for Torgerson. You're <laughs> agonising with him as you watch him sat there in the chair, going through it all in his head. Great to see, though, someone that has won this tournament on three occasions has been in so many finals and semi finals that it still means so much to him. Oh, absolutely, and uh, it's more than likely he'll be back next year trying again to uh, <coughs> beat everybody off the lane. <coughs> On with the messenger. Not Doesn't quite, quite kick it out. Just fell off the back. 
still pretty emotionless, isn't he? So he leaves that corner pin standing yet again. You can see, though, he's starting to think about the quarterfinals now, isn't he? He's starting to think about lines and consistency. Well, he certainly seems to have shown this lineup up uh, during this session. Not such a big score this game, but uh, certainly enough to win. Time for Torgerson then to take a bow. And let's hope he can do it with some decent closing shots. Strike out for 2.05. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Looks of amazement because it's made a double. <laughs> a ball change. Yeah, so difficult in the heat of battle to remember that the, the fans are watch make, what makes this game tick. And uh, consequently, it always serves the players well to put on a decent display here. Even if you're out, even if you've lost, give the fans something to remember you by. Absolutely. Can't quite kick out that four pin. It's going to be a one nine four. And what we're saying, uh, Sayonara Barnsley. <laughs> nice one. Oh, great trick shot, the finish for Torgerson. Well, he's left us something. Very, very nice shot to finish, but it's not going to be Torgerson's year. And we've been saying that now for a few years in succession. The man that used to own this lane has once again had to hand over that mantle, but this time in the first round. And that's the big shock of this tournament. He might have been up against Remy Ong, but most people would have still given Torgerson a chance. But sub 200, what has he got to do? Once again, Ong not quite finding his line into the pocket, but it's not uh, not going to affect the outcome of this match. But not quite the numbers that Remy Ong would have wanted to have posted, especially considering the performance of left-hander from England, Paul Moore. There'll be a fair amount of debate about that. Knocks off the spare to own the bonus, but. Remyong has progressed through very nicely, and it just goes to show you, doesn't it, Cass, the, the standards of bowling that we've had so far in this tournament. There's us sitting there saying, well, Remyong's just a bit below par, and he's still turning some pretty good numbers. Well, absolutely, yeah. He's going to be strike here for 2.06. Takes six in the last four, so he's... Um, yeah, second game not quite up to it, but 2.56 in the first game. He'll take that. And uh, it's all over. We say goodbye to Tori Torgerson at a very early stage of this year's World 10-pin Masters. And to Remy Ong, it's congratulations. He goes through to the quarterfinal. 10-pin bowling can be exciting, enthralling and frustrating for those taking to the lane. Tonight, Remy Ong may have been in the shadow of a 10-pin legend, but he made his mark and won his place in the quarterfinal. With only one place remaining and two players left to go head-to-head, -head, things are about to get even tougher. Next time, Dominic Barrett, a young British player who came sixth in the AMF World Cup, will be competing against Deandra Aspity, who won two gold medals in the same event. One of them will be knocked out. Find out who makes it through to the quarterfinals at the PartyPoker.net World 10-Pin Masters.